Hi, in this video, we're gonna go over a couple things that will help you gain a deeper understanding on how to navigate Blast Connect. The first thing we're going to do is a little bit of navigation in Blast Connect. Uh, the first thing is to hit this help button on the bottom right. This takes us into our information database. In this video, we're gonna look at the training center. Inside the training center, the first thing to look at is metric definitions. This is going to give you videos and explanations of every single individual swing data metric we have. It'll be broken up into swing quality scores as well as individual metrics. The next thing to look at is drills. The drills are going to be broken up into buckets so you can look at specific drills for plane, connection, and rotation as well as attack drills and bat speed drills. The third thing we're going to look at are how-to videos. How-to videos, you can select iOS, Android, or even Blast Connect to learn more specifically how to do things in these specific buckets. The next thing we're going to look at in this video is the Insights page. This will be the page that you automatically open up to when you sign into Blast Connect, and it'll show you all of your players. It automatically is going to set it to where it shows the averages for plane, connection, and rotation. If you want to see all data, you can come up here and select all metrics. Then you're going to scroll down and you'll be able to scroll to the right and see all of the individual metrics. And again, on here, this is going to be the averages for the date range that's selected, which is going to bring up our next point where some of these filters up top. Um, the biggest one here is going to be able to change the date range. You can have the set filters here on the left, or you can come into the calendar and click a specific range that you want to see. Uh, you just want to make sure you click apply, and then you'll be able to see the changes down here. There's also going to be a more filters tab where you can come and look at sessions and other filters. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is getting a team report. We'll click the three dots on the right, and it's gonna give you a couple different options. When you save a full team report, it's going to give you one work page of all the averages, but it's also gonna give you other pages that include all the players and their data as well, um, individual pages for those players. And, or you can just do save as Excel, and that's gonna give you your one page team report uh, that's just gonna break down all the averages uh, for each player and all the data for the range that you have selected go ahead and look at a player report from the insights page we'll scroll down and select that individual player when the page loads it's going to show us this swing profile it's going to show us the plane connection and rotation scores with a little info on each category as well as a graph at the bottom that highlights our goal range now to see more individual swings we will collect select the swing data tab and this is going to show us our plane connection and rotation scores along with all the other data points for each swing. To change the date range, we'll select the top and select one of the set ranges, or we can select customizable dates. To change to another player, we can hit the drop down menu and select a player. Uh, we can also go back to the team management page. And when, when, when we select a player, it's automatically going to take us into that player's profile. Now we're going to talk about a couple different modes you can use to collect data in the in the app. The first thing to talk about is the difference between live and offline. Live means the sensor is connected to the phone and the data is going to show in real time with each swing. Another mode is offline. That is when the sensor is not connected. The sensor is going to store that data and then after the session, we're going to open the app, connect the sensor, and you can download those offline swings. One way is coach mode. This is when you are signed into the Blast Baseball app with your coach account. From there, you can select individual players and then connect to that player's sensor to connect data in real time. It's going to directly go into that player's account that you have selected. Now that you're all set up with your account, we highly recommend getting baseline swings with high intent, about 100 swings per player. They want to be high intent to make sure that we have a realistic view of each hitter 
and it gives us a really good sample size of the hitter's swing data. As always, for more information or more support, you can contact our support team directly. You have three options. One is to send an email to support at blastmotion.com. The second way is to fill out a contact us form at blastmotion.com. Or you can give us a call at the number listed, leave a voicemail, and one of our representatives will be able to follow up with you as efficiently and quickly as possible.